Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to implement unidirectional data flow with two web components and one backend. The backend is implemented as a uh, microprofile JaxOS application uh, with Quarkus and um, so it's a JaxOS endpoint with uh, activated um, course filter and is already available on port 8080. So this localhost 8080 hello should return hello, which is the case. And in the front end, I have a simplistic um, web, com um, web application, not web component yet. It's just empty JavaScript and index, index HTML. And the first thing uh, I would like to do is to, to import or to activate the modules. So ES6 module now is activated. And uh, now I would like to create a component called ER request request JS and this air request is going to be an uh, air request class which extends HTML element and uh, custom elements define I would like to register a custom element with the name air request and the class air request and um, because of simplicity I would like to use lit HTML for uh, for event binding, or what I just did, I uh, copied uh, the whole npm uh, folder to my project. So now what I can do is first I can use connected callback, and the connected callback is going to be invoked in case the air request becomes available in the DOM, and then use the method render, and the function render will render a. So now render in HTML a template and the template will come from lit, lit HTML. So just use that. Um, it is going to be lit HTML and lit HTML JS. Now both functions should be available. Const uh, template and uh, this HTML is the custom render uh, function from lit HTML. And I would like to have a simple button, and the button is uh, fetch from server should be the name. And I would like to render the template to the component. And uh, I have to invoke the render here. Okay, and I use the underscore to, to make a difference between this render and my render. Okay, so we have both. And of course, I will have to import import the um, air request here. So now it's imported, and um, so and now I could already use it. Air, requ air request and close that, and the button becomes visible. And uh, now. This I could also achieve without the HTML, just as plain ES6 uh, string literals, but um, lit HTML brings, for instance, the nice uh, event binding. So I can just use invoke the method uh, button clicked with the event and button clicked with event. Just use uh, log with the event and now if I click the button I should see something in the console mouse event as you can see so once again I see the mouse events here so it seems to work so now I could implement the fetch functionality here but uh, instead of that I would like to use a service so in more complicated applications I would separate the presentation from the from the um, business logic or from the behavior and call it a service and this is not going to be a component rather than simplistic function uh, fetch message. And this is going to be an async function without any input. And the body will just use, use the built-in fetch functionality. So um, const response uh, equals await. Oh, I would like to resolve the promise by waiting and uh, fetch and the URI was HTTP localhost localhost 8080 slash hello 
And what I get back is a plain text, not JSON. So I would like to call the text const uh, message and use await here once again. Okay. What we do with the uh, with the result is more interesting because the method um, would just return promise, so it's not really nice to use. So instead of returning something, this method uh, or this function should be void, and I would like to use a message event, my own message event, which is a custom event with the name message event message event, and it the message uh, event is an object with a detail, and the detail is the actual payload, this is the message, and um, what I would like to do is to specify the bubbling, and it should bubble, it means be propagated from, from children to parents, and now I can say I would like to dispatch event, message event, and to use the uh, function from outside, I will have to export my fetch message, so now it's exported, visible, it means it can be imported. So let's do this. Import fetch message from from Air Service JS. Seems to work. And now I can call it this fetch message. Uh, and this is not this, rather than just call fetch message. Okay, looks good. So nothing happens still, except the mouse event is invoked. And what we need, another component. And I would call it air output JS and class air output extends HTML element. And once again, I would like to register custom elements define. The name is going to be air output. And uh, air output is the class and then I also will have to import that. Import air output.js. So looks good. So we have the air output. And here in connected callback, I would like just to say in a HTML waiting for message. So we are waiting for the message and uh, to make it visible, I also will have to declare the component here. Yeah, output. And now we are waiting for the message. Now, uh, what I also would like to do is to register message event. And I would like to register my local function on message, this on message. So this function does not exist yet but will soon on message with the event so now i can do this in html and this time i want i would use just plain es6 literals so nothing not without lit html and just use the h3 and say here h3 and evt so now, um, so what happens? See, the custom event is received, and what I'm interesting is just in the detail, in the payload. So what I can do, I can use the structuring detail. It will extract the detail from the event, and use the detail here. And now, if I click here, I will see hello from server. So this was unidirectional data flow with a uh, air request component which uh, on every click, it just uh, invokes button clicked, translates the event to a fetch function. The fetch function goes uh, to the server, re um, um, interprets or extracts the payload and creates a event and uh, dispatches the event, which can be received by all components you like. So thank you for watching. See you at airhex.com at airport Munich or airhex.io. So there are lots of web and web standards trainings and workshops so thank you and bye